My name is Fowad HP, and because I like to work out, for my birthday, my sister got me a protein shaker cup in the shape of a grenade. It was kind of cool, though, when I got the gift from her. It had a note inside that said, time to declare a jihad on fat. <laughs> so I like doing a fair bit of traveling. Something I find very disrespectful while traveling is when people clap after an airplane lands successfully. Because the implication there is you thought the pilot was gonna kill you. <laughs> you don't do that for anything else. You arrive at your destination in a cab like, holy shit. <laughs> Although you're more likely to die in a car crash, that's why I don't really like driving, but I have to get around sometimes. And something I really dislike seeing while driving are those lawn signs that say, slow down. Children at play. Last I checked, people speeding through residential neighborhoods? Not a global problem. People overpopulating the planet with children? <laughs> yeah, it's a huge problem. So why don't you guys slow down? <laughs> As I'm sure you can tell by now, I don't like children. Because I've never seen a parent in public with their child that didn't want their child to shut up. <laughs> and also not exist. <laughs> now some of you are thinking that this is an act that I really do like children. Wrong. <laughs> People say really weird things all the time, like children are the future. Whose future? <laughs> not mine. I got a vasectomy to ensure that. <laughs> now some of you are thinking, yeah, I don't like this faux-eyed guy, but I can really support his decision to not make any more of himself. <laughs> yeah, wrong again. I'm gonna adopt, I'm gonna adopt a little girl from some oppressive ass backwards country. So probably America. But I have no idea how to raise a child. Closest experience I have to that is raising my dog, and none of that translates. Although I did adopt my dog, so there's some overlap there. But when you adopt a dog, you don't say you adopted it. So when people ask me about my daughter, I'll say, oh, you mean my rescue? <laughs> yeah, she's doing much better now that she's in her forever home. <laughs> I, I grew up watching the Power Rangers in the 90s. Love that show but that's only because I was a dumb child. <laughs> Didn't realize how racist and bigoted that piece of shit was. The Pink Ranger is a girl, because girls love pink. <laughs> the Blue Ranger is a boy, because closeted homosexuals love blue. <laughs> the Yellow Ranger was Asian. who actually died in a car crash, like seriously? <laughs> black Ranger was black. <laughs> in case you forgot. <laughs> Red Ranger's a native guy, right? Nope, white guy. Like what? That doesn't make any sense. And then you think about it, you're like, all oh, right. And they took everything else from the natives. I also don't enjoy going to clubs, but I was at a club for a friend's birthday and I lost my watch. I'm like, oh no, I am never gonna find it. But it can't hurt to try, so I started looking around. And sure enough, I found it, but there was a man standing on it. Yeah, not even the worst part, he was being very handsy with this woman and she was having none of it. And when she finally made herself clear, he slapped her. It's messed up, that's when I sprang into action. I jumped on his back, I choked him unconscious. Cause you don't do that, you don't hit a woman. Not on my watch. <laughs>